afraid that's all I can do with it right now. Because that chain won't stop spinning. Welcome to Leo's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Yes. Got another Pioneer on the bench. And this is another one that's going to go in my collection. This P-Series has really captured my uh, interest, let's put it that way. Uh, this is a P60, 100cc saw. Been looking for one, and I found this one at a price I considered reasonable. So therefore, it's now part of the collection, but it needs some work still. I was able, obviously able to get it to run, uh, replacing hoses and cleaning the thing out. It was a disaster inside. But uh, it's otherwise pretty good shape, other than when it was dirty. This uh, hand guard back here has got a nice little crack. A little piece mixing out of the air filter cover. I don't care. If I ever find the pieces, yeah, cool, I'll replace them. Uh, you can uh, get a decal kit from uh, Sugar Creek. Somebody's curved Hooper Crane. I don't know if that's a business or if that was a person. But I'd rather put a P60 decal back on here. So, do that. Uh, you can see it does not have a bucking spike currently. That's going to have to get taken care of. But other than that, it's in pretty good shape. The index pin for that recoil spring to hit is missing. So what's going on in there is kind of funky, but it's working. I'll, uh, I'll see you off to look at an IPL. I don't actually remember what that stud looks like, but uh, that'll be easy enough to figure out. Biggest thing is that clutch spring. I knew it was jacked when I took the clutch off to replace the uh, the rim sprocket, and I could hear the shoes rattling. I'm like, uh, that's not good. And I looked at the spring; it's all jacked up. But that's okay. I'm sure finding a spring isn't going to be all that big of a deal. Uh, this is a brand new full comp 404 chain. Found this bar on eBay. 36 inch. And uh, in case you guys haven't already caught on, I smell another challenge coming on one of these days. We're going to do the 82cc challenge once fire season abates and get that out of the way. But I'm thinking maybe next spring we might have to do uh, 100cc. And I can guarantee we won't have as many brands represented there. But uh, this is 100cc, the 650 is 100cc, the Super 650. All the XP saws, the Super 1050s, there's a lot of different types of saws, you know. This has a reed valve, the Super 1050, the XP series, those are reed valve saws, but the 650 home light is not. That's piston ported, so we could have a number of saws from that class. Yeah, not as many brands represented, but we could just have some fun with it. So, anyway... I'm going to set this one aside as I order some parts for it, but I couldn't resist doing a little bit of a video with this thing.